now that we have our emulator loaded up once we press flip you can see that it goes to heads in this video i will be showing you how to create a coin flipping app let's get into it so the first thing i'm going to do is move this to the side so i can have a bigger space to work with so once i move this right here we're going to head over to activity main now before we even start, since we are having a coin flipping app, you need to have heads or tails. So your application can choose between one of them. So what we're gonna do is go to Google. I want you to get any heads or tails coin that you see, whatever you like. I'm gonna get the ones that look like these. I'm gonna save image as. And I already have them in my folder, heads and tails. So I'm, these are the ones I'm going to use, but I want you guys to have yours ready so we can be able to use them. Now that you saved your photo, I'm just gonna click cancel because I already have mine. We're gonna go and we're gonna set text views. And with this text view, I'm just gonna put it up a little here. And I'm gonna to go to split. You can go to design. Some people like to do it in design but I'm just gonna stick to split. I do it because I like to code it easier. Sometimes I switch between split and design. You can do the same if you want. Next, I'm gonna change the hello world from hello world to coin flip. I'm going to name it coin flip. And it seems a little small, so I'm gonna make it bigger. And to do that, I'll do text size. And I think I wanna make it 30 dp. No, no, SP for when you're using text. I think that's big enough. And I'm gonna place it right here. Next, we're gonna go to design and we're gonna add a button. The user will click this button and it will make the coin flip. Since we're in constraint layout, I'm gonna give it a constraint, put up here. And I'm going to put it to this side. Another thing I'm going to do is put the image view right in the center of it. For now, we're not going to use a picture, but in mind, keep in mind that we will use the heads or tails, but not right now. We're just going to leave it clear. We're just going to press OK. And we're going to go back to split. And for me, I'll name the button flip because the user will press this and it'll flip the heads or tails I'm also going to give text view an ID Wait, actually no it doesn't need an ID I'm going to give the image view an ID let me find it I guess it didn't go there so I'm just going to leave it right here and I'm going to leave it as this in the app it will look invisible so you don't need to worry about this messing up the app. I'm gonna put it right here. What I mean by invisible is that it doesn't show. So this is most likely a placeholder that we will use. Great. Now that we basically have everything here, I'm gonna make sure to give this an ID. And I'll just give it the ID of flip view. I like that name. Now, since that we got our whole UI interface ready, the next thing I want you to do is go into the folder or the place where you saved your heads and tails. And I want you to copy it. We're gonna be putting these in the drawable folder so that we can be able to access them and use them as an image. So to save it, I want you to go to res. We're gonna left click drawable, and then we're gonna right click drawable. We're gonna press paste. We're gonna do okay. Press okay. And once you do that, it seems that both of them have a red. So probably to fix this problem, I may need to do it again. So I'll come back right when I fix it. 
I figured out what I did wrong. So instead of copying and pasting both, I'm only just gonna copy and paste one. So I'm gonna copy, go to Drawable, right click and press paste. I'm gonna press okay. I'm just gonna leave it as tails. So I figured out why the error was occurring. And it's because I don't really understand why Android Studio does this, but it's because of the capital letters in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Left click drawable and then right click and we're going to press paste. Okay. And instead of tails with the capital T, I'll just put a lowercase t. And it solves the problem. We're going to go back here. Copy the heads. Go to drawable. And press paste. Remember to take the capital out and put lowercase instead. Heads. If you want to see your picture again, you can just double click it right here. And our picture shows up. So now what we're going to do here is initialize the widgets. So we have an image view. So we're going to do image view. Image. I'll leave it as image. And for button, I'm just going to call it button. Actually, no. I should call it button flip. Now we're going to set these widgets with their IDs. For example, we're going to do image equals find view by ID. We're going to do R dot ID dot and the ID we gave it, which was image view. I'm sorry, let me go look at that again. Flip view, right? Flip view. Flip view. We're going to do the same thing for the button. We're going to do button flip equals find ID, R dot ID, and the ID that you gave it. So I know I called it flip. Excuse me for this. Oh, okay. I just left it as button. Button. Now, since we do this, we're going to set our on click listener. This is what we're going to do to create the logic so we can choose whether heads or tails come up. So we're going to do button flip dot set on click listener new view on click listener. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to use a random number. If, if the number is even, we'll click heads. The, the picture will turn to heads. If it's odd, the picture will go to tails. Now, Android Studio has its, has its own random class, so we're just going to call that into play under button flip. I'm going to do random, and I'm just going to call it raw. Right here, I'm just going to end it like that. But right here, what I'm going to do inside of this, I'm going to do raw equals new ran actually I'm gonna put raw equals new random dot int <laughs> excuse me for that actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set it up here I'm gonna put random raw equals new random just gonna list initialize it up here and don't worry it'll be able to be accessible in here so there's no worry now we're gonna do raw equals no no raw dot next it and I'm just going to put 10 plus 1. Excuse me for this. 
instead of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this raw. I figured out what I did. I was supposed to initialize it into a variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do int ray. I'm going to name this raw instead. Now what we're going to do is equal this to raw dot next. And I'm just going to put 10 plus one. The reason I put plus one is because in programming, when the way we count in programming, 10 is actually nine. Let me show you. In programming, we count starting from zero. So if I were to put zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you count all of these numbers, you'll see that it's 10 numbers. And I put the plus one because in reality, this number 10 is nine, but the plus one outside of it makes it 10. Now that we got that, we're going to set up the logic for the image view. I'm going to type if ra equals, no, excuse me, if ra modulo, wrong modulo, this one right here. If ra modulo 2 equals 0, which means this is even. This is even right here. We're going to do image dot set image resource to heads. We're going to put R dot drawable dot heads. What the modulo is doing is going to divide it. And if the remainder is zero, it'll be even. Now for odd, we'll just put else, else image dot set image resource to so r dot drawable dot tails. The reason it's r dot drawable is because r symbolizes the rest folder, and then we're going to the drawable folder, and then our pictures are right here. Now that we have all the logic, what I'm going to do is start up the emulator. Now that we have our emulator loaded up, once we press flip, you can see that it goes to heads and then now it goes to tails. Congratulations everyone, you just made a coin flipping app. If you like this tutorial, go on ahead to my channel and check out my other tutorials. Mass Programmer Round.